Hey y'all, it's Josh at Rising Oaks Family Farm, and I hope you've had a great week. You know, I've been thinking, we got a lot of rain here in Tennessee over the last few weeks after, you know, a little bit of a drought, nothing like our friends in, in, uh, in Texas and other parts of the West have gotten, but still no rain, very little rain. And now that we've gotten some rain, uh, my grass is growing <laughs> and uh, you know we're rotationally grazing the animals that we have here but there's some parts of our farm that are really hard to graze and you know probably makes a lot of sense to mow and weed eat but I don't know if you've noticed but gas isn't cheap right now and so one of the things that we've been really thinking about is how can we get our animals working for us uh, in a more uh, practical way around just maintenance you know so I what I was telling my wife is uh, we need a cleanup crew and that's what I want to talk to you about today how can you use your goats uh, you could use sheep too but specifically I'm going to talk about goats how can you use your goats as a cleanup crew to get those hard to reach places for less labor, certainly less cost uh, than what you would do if you were gonna mow weed eat or something like that. So, let me show you what we got going on. All right, y'all, meet the cleanup crew. So what we have right here are our most docile goats. Um, so these, uh, these Nigerian dwarfs, um, especially Johnny there on the left, Kyle, and then Oreo right here. Uh, they've been with us a long time. They're used to being handled. They're easy to move. We don't have to worry about them running away from us. Dash is over there behind the tree. You can see him. We decided that for this area, I mean, look at this is a seasonal creek bed. And I'll walk you down the whole line here. It's, you know, if you were trying to weed eat this or mow it, well, you can't mow it. I mean, that's pretty clear. But if you wanted to, man, you'd pound your weed eater up. You'd mess up the bottom of it. You'd sling rocks at you or someone else. So we decided, hey, can we get creative and use our goats in this area to do some cleanup work for us? And you can see I, sh I should have been smart enough to do a before and after, uh, before and after picture. But... Uh, they have done a fantastic job already. I mean, you can tell on the other side of the fence uh, exactly how lush that is and how much they've eaten down here. And just to bring that to life better for you, you know, we'll go to the other side of the fence. And in some of these spots, you can't even see the rocks because so much vegetation has come up over it in the rain. Now, I think the previous owners used a lot of you know probably roundup something like that to keep these clean because they were clean when we got here and they sure weren't mowing them and they weren't grazing so i think there was a lot of poison used on this farm but you can tell all up and down this creek bed really needs some maintenance and that's exactly what we're using the crew for here and so you know the next question is well how do you do it you know how do you do it quickly and easily and what we've done is position one of our solar chargers. I'm not gonna walk out there, waste a lot of time, but you can see I've got one of my solar chargers out by uh, one of our fences. And the reason I did that is because uh, I can just hook my ground directly to that. Like that whole fence all the way to the barn is basically uh, one giant ground rod. So it just made sense um, and it was super easy to run the, uh, super easy to just run the extra, the extra fence, that's what we got there. And so really that's a, uh, that, that is a one and a half joule, 10,000 volt charger. And these are O'Brien step-ins. And this is Holly Braid by Power Flex, and that is a Terragate reel. And that is all you need. Uh, some step-ins. 
I use T post for corners. So, you know, if you watched any of our videos, you know, it's super easy for me to just put a T post and, and then wire a step into it. Um, I'm going to experiment just with some T post clips. Um, I got some from power flex. I've never had great luck with them in the past. They always break. Uh, but we're going to give it a go again, but I like this, you know, I just ran the one wire down. You can see that connected right here to the corner. And, uh, I ran five strands. Um, you know, the key for goats is, you know, make sure they can't go under, make sure they can't jump over. And I do have a jumper. So mom over here, uh, that goat right there in the middle, she is a jumper. And we put this fence up without this top fifth wire right here. And uh, she was ready to go to the barn and she hurdled it. So we went ahead and added the fifth. She's been in here fine ever since. Basically, you just wanna be able to touch them with the wire exactly where their, their nose is gonna. That way they back up and they don't go through. But this took us, uh, me, Jack, uh, mainly me and Jack, took us about, I don't know, less than an hour to get all this up. Less than an hour and, and two reels. So that's a mostly full reel. You can see I've got another reel sitting down here. Uh, and they've been in here going on three days, something like that. So I mean, you can see they are doing exactly what we wanted the cleanup crew to do. So the trade-off is it takes longer but no fuel, no wear and tear on my small engines. Uh, and it gets these goats, the stuff they love, you know, these goats don't love grass as much as they love this brambly stuff anyway. So this leafy stuff, I mean, look how happy. Does it come any happier than that? So really what I want to leave you with here is in these spots where, you know, you just traditionally can't mow them. Take the labor that you would otherwise use to do all the maintenance and just put the fence up and get your goats moving on it. Uh, I think that's the big takeaway from this. So, uh, hey, if, if you've done this before, uh, drop me a line in the comments. And, I, you know, first time we've done it. The plan is to take them all the way down the creek bed. And so we're going to probably leave them here another day, maybe another day or two, just to see how much they get done. And then we're going to move them. But uh, this is our cleanup crew. We have totally separated these goats from the rest of the goat herd. And the plan right now is to have the cleanup crew uh, in action for the foreseeable future doing this for us. And then we'll move the rest of the goat herd. Uh, to the other pasture and we'll do a completely separate video on that so hope this was helpful leave a comment like and subscribe if you like what you see and uh i'll show you what it looks like when we move them next time have a good night